hello everyone in today's video i will be sharing with you the recipe of sunskin spray and this is for your body and also for your skin for spf 70 so here are the spf blend you can see in the above list like abobenzone homoslet then octislet octirelon uh, then oxybenzone everything is going to be in this uh, recipe so this is a blend of powder and liquid so i will be showing you i have already like waked out my spf blend so let's see the process so here in a beaker you can see that i am adding my spf blend powders and then i will be adding the uh, liquid ones liquid spf blend and to dissolve and to uh, give a solvent i will be using ethanol ethanol is a quick absorb to your skin and this is going to um, i'm going to use to like dilute this or hydrate all this spf blend because uh, these are oil soluble so it's quite difficult so we are not using any oil into this so i will be using ethanol to dissolve all this oil solvent ingredients spf so this is a very advanced formulation so here you can see that i have added all my spf blend now i will be adding ethanol 40 percent to dissolve everything and then i will be adding rest of my ingredients that is vitamin e vitamin e oil act as an antioxidant glycerin will give us a moisturization and purified water or dm water you can use to give a aqua into this formulation preservative i am you here using phenoxoethylon and fragrance oil i will be using here i'm not going to use any essential oil but if you want to use essential oil instead of fragrance oil you can do that you can add the same percentage of fragrance oil which i have mentioned uh, essential oil that you can uh, take is mint essential oil and lavender essential oil so it is a very easy process all you need to do is you need to put all the ingredients in a beaker and then mix all together and then in a spray bottle only you have to put the formulation and whenever you are going to use you just have to little bit shake the bottle and then use it on your skin so now i'm just blending everything i'm mixing all this together and then i will add purified or dm water into my formulation this is a very easy process to do and this will look a whitish cloudy one because of the spf blends and this is absolutely safe for your skin because the fda has set a user's rate so you have to make sure that you are using the spf blends in the into that uh, uses rate only not more than that so here i have just added everything and the ph of this uh, formulation will be around 5.5 that is the perfect ph so now you can see there is a cloudy liquid formulation now i'm just uh, putting this into my spray bottle make sure everything is sanitized so here i'm just uh, just pouring the formulation into a spray bottle and i will show you the application how you have to apply on your skin We cannot substitute this with zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. We have to use this one because it's a 7 SPF 70. So here is the final look of the formulation you can see. And now I'm just showing you that how you have to apply on your skin. So here I'm just spraying on my hand and you can see there is no white residue and you just have to massage it lightly like this. I hope you like this video and please uh, do this formulation if you face any issue just let me know.